Look on the screen. Look on the screen. It is Dusty Dan. Yes. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I think he's in custody. Beware, beware. Dusty Dan, the Amazon, allegedly, assaulting delivery man. Listen to this story. Check it out. Fair use. Phone video shows him being restrained after he allegedly tried to sexually assault a woman inside her home. Mm. Tonight, that woman is still shaken by the terrifying encounter. CBS 13, Steve Large is in Turlock with the heart-pounding video and the emotional interview. Steve? Well, this was a chaotic scene, and the woman who was attacked is also the mother of four. Thankfully, her children were not at home to witness what happened. Mm -hmm. Cell phone video captures this insane Amazon delivery. An Amazon box sitting at the front door, the delivery driver being held down inside. Well, hop in there. Right here in our new house. Moments earlier, he was hopping a fence Look. and running to the back of the home. I don't buy into my where he allegedly broke through a window to get inside. Mm. The stunning cell phone sequence, all after the driver had already allegedly tried sexually assaulting the woman who lives here. How are you doing right now? Right now, I'm very nervous. I can't sleep. And, um, like, I'm always crying now. Maria Lopez says she had just gotten out of the shower when this Amazon driver walked through the front door uninvited. His expression changed when he saw me with the towel and um, his eyes opened wide like like a monster or something. Turlock police have identified the driver as 22-year-old Ryan Crisp. He's now charged with attempted rape, burglary, and vandalism. Lopez's husband and her husband's co-worker were at the home and able to eventually get Chris detained before police arrived. Amazon released a statement reading in part, we're deeply concerned about what we've learned. This does not reflect the standards we have for delivery drivers. Of course it doesn't. And see, here's my thing. What if they hadn't had that camera of him hopping over that fence? If they hadn't had that camera over him hopping that fence, I willing to bet you nothing would have happened. He, the papa said, "Oh, she's lying. There's no proof." And this right here, I doubt that he. This is the first time he's probably done this before in certain neighborhoods. If they had had that camera, I wouldn't be surprised. Nothing would have happened, to Dusty Dan. He'd probably still be on that Amazon route and going around assaulting women. They should check this out. Check him out thoroughly in the other routes that he's taking with women. See if there's a problem. But of course, I'm sure they don't want to do that because, hey, come on. You know, you when a lot of times when it's a dusty day that gets in trouble, they don't want to ruin his life. We don't want to, you know. And he might have thought by her being of her nationality, oh, I can pull this stunt. You know, if it's a less uh, a smaller area, speaking economically, people think they can get away with crimes. For him to jump that fence like that, into, I mean, you're in somebody's home. You don't know what you could have, what you're going to encounter. You don't know who's there. That in leads me to believe, I'm inclined to believe it's not the first time. It just might be the first time he's been apprehended. Who the hell of it to you to jump over that fence? He broke a window, they said. Dusty Dan, an assaulting AA delivery man. So Amazon, you're gonna be affected. This is your brand. This is your brand out here. Just like they've showed people delivering Amazon. Look up. You're supposed to deliver the package, not steal it. Dusty Dan. He needs to be locked up, man. I wish they could have put that fire to him. Ooh, I wish they could have put that fire to him. Instead of holding him down. Then in my spinner narrative, well, he was lured inside. That window was already broken. Yeah, because certain people want to protect people like to protect their own. So Dusty Dan, ladies, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Uh that right there is things you don't you don't even think about. Who would, who would have thought, jumping over the fence, breaking the window, next thing you know, what if her husband and his co-worker wasn't there, and she just came out of the shower, you walk into your living room, and there he is, oh my gosh.
So Amazon. I want to see what the DA's actions are going to be. If it's going to be leaning, are they going to try and save Peter? You know, step on the wrist. You don't want to mess up his career and the hell with her. And other things too. People are very diabolical. People are very evil. It is not a friendly world out there. I could see him doing this. Let's say if he thinks that there's an area where you may have people that may not, that may uh, be here illegally. Maybe they're not processed. And you think you can get away with crimes like that. That happened in Texas. They had an area. And they had a lot of people. Uh, it had a high illegal population. Um, because it had a high uh, level of uh, illegal immigrants there. They had a sting operation. They uh, And they know that people, if you're illegal, you're afraid to go to the police because you don't want to be deported. Well... It happened so much. Those people that were being like day laborers are walking around having cash. They were pulling them over. And you had police officers in Texas. I believe it started in West Dallas. This was a long, long time ago. Police officers will pull them over. And then, no, no, no. Instead of like handing me your ID, hand me your wallet. And just take all the money out. Because they knew the people were illegal. That they pretty much work under the table cash. They were stopping them, and then I'm gonna let you go. Well, what you gonna do? Call the police. We are the police, and the police officers were reportedly taking their money out of their wallets and rotting them. Send them on down the road. You worked the whole week as a day labor. Okay, you got four hundred dollars, whatever the amount is at that time. Take all your money. Well, listen, you're still here. There, there you are. It got so bad that even the people that were illegal started to report it. And how did they catch them? It was true. They weren't freaking lying. How did they catch them? They put undercover cops to pretend to be illegal immigrants, and they and they they have recorded them getting pulled over, look over, uh, one of the cops undercover went to go ahead and hand him his license, and the cops told him, no, 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 hand me your wallet. I w just hand me your wallet. And he go through the wallet and take the cash out and get it back to him and send him on his way so that the cops were stopping and robbing the illegal immigrants. So when I saw this, I said, that might have been through his mind. He's probably been doing this in certain areas. Or oh, I'm going to get away with it. What, what are you going to do? This is the world that we live in. It is not a friendly place. Trust no one. So you not only have to worry about the packages being stolen, you got to worry about sometimes the delivery driver as well trying to assault you. Imagine having a teenager at home, a young girl at home. So it's to a point now, if you can have the cameras up, a package, wait till they leave. And then pick it up then. It's, it's crazy. So yeah, this right here. This is an alert public service announcement. Ladies, ladies, ladies. And gentlemen, but especially ladies. Be on the lookout. Because what? Here we have a good example of Dusty Dan, the alleged. Now I'm sure they got him for a reason. We have to say alleged. You know. Amazon driver. Assaulting delivery man. Uh, feel free to comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what your thoughts are thoughts are on the issue and I am out.